Are you trying to uninstall every unused and unneeded application on your Samsung Galaxy device? If so, then you may have come across an application called Internet, and the uninstall button is either grayed out or it has been replaced by a disable button. If so, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to uninstall the Samsung Internet application without needing to have root access. However, in order to complete this guide, you will need to have ADB and Fastboot tools set up on your desktop or laptop PC. The ADB commands that I'll be showing you here today can also be executed directly on the device with the help of an application called LADB. But that method is more complicated than simply using a computer with a USB cable, so I'll be showing you that method here today. If you do not have a computer that you can use though, then be sure to check the video description below for a link to a dedicated tutorial that I created that shows you how to set up LADB on your Android device. Then after you set up LADB, you can enter the ADB shell and execute the same command that I'll be showing you here today. But again, for this video, we will be using my desktop PC and a program called ADB and Fastboot Tools. So, if you don't have Google's platform tools installed on your computer and you're unable to execute ADB or Fastboot commands, then I'll be sure to have a second video linked in the description below that will show you how to download ADB and Fastboot++ which is a new name for the tiny ADB and Fastboot Tools installer that many of us are familiar with. And it's what I have installed on my desktop. Now with everything set up, we can now begin the process of uninstalling the Samsung internet browser from the default user account on your Android smartphone or tablet. To do this though, we are going to need to have developer mode enabled so that we can access the hidden developer options menu. This is required because we need to have USB debugging mode enabled. So if you're not familiar with what developer mode is, or if you're not familiar with how to enable USB debugging mode, then again, be sure to check the video description below as I'll have links to dedicated guides that can get you caught up so that you know everything that is required. And after we have USB debugging mode enabled, we are going to connect our Samsung Galaxy device to our PC with a USB cable. After the phone is connected to the PC with a USB cable, we're then going to launch a command prompt a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window that is located in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And again, if you use the ADB and Fastboot++ program, you will have a shortcut on your desktop that you can use that will automatically open up the command prompt within the same folder that is required. And then as a test, we're going to type out and then execute the command ADB space devices. And again, we're going to press enter on the keyboard. Now, if you have everything set up and you are ready to complete this tutorial, you will notice that your device that is connected will have their serial number displayed right here. Now, if you do not see any devices listed here, that means you may not have allowed USB debugging mode access. So look at your phone and see if you have a prompt to allow that. You may not have enabled USB debugging mode yet. So definitely check that. Or you may just need to try another USB port or a U another USB cable 
for troubleshooting purposes. But again, once you see a devices reply here, that means you are good to go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to execute the command adb space shell. And then we're going to press enter. And this is going to change our prompt from being from commands being executed directly on our PC to a prompt that means our commands are going to be executed directly on the phone itself. Now, we're going to either type out or paste the command pm space uninstall space dash k space dash dash user space zero space com dot sec dot android dot app dot s browser now i'm going to have this entire command i'm going to have all of these commands included in the video description below because just like i did we can right click to paste this entire command from our clipboard so this command is telling the package manager to uninstall the application with the package name com.sec.android.app.s browser. This is a package name for an application, and it's the package name for the internet Samsung browser. So we're telling the package name to uninstall the Samsung internet browser from user zero which is the default user account. That's going to be your user account on the device. And we're telling it to keep the user data just in case that we want to reinstall the application at a later date. Now with all of this typed out, we're going to press enter on the keyboard and you should see a success message right here. As long as you see that success message, that means the application has been uninstalled from that default user account. It also means that you should no longer see the device, the application on your device anymore. It won't matter if you look in the home page. It won't matter if you look in the application drawer. You can even look for it in the apps section of the settings application, and you should not be able to find it since it has been removed from your default user account. And if you are actively watching your phone or tablet, when you press enter to execute that command, you should actively see the application icon disappear as it has been uninstalled on your device. Now, if you ever find yourself wanting to use the Samsung internet application in the future, you could choose to perform a factory data reset, which is ideal if you're wanting to sell the phone or give it away to someone. But you could also go through all of this setup process for executing an ADB shell command and then use the install existing command to bring it back. This is another topic that I have already done a dedicated video about so if you don't know about that command, check the video description below and I'll have a link to that tutorial to show you how to bring that app back. And that wraps up today's video on how to uninstall the Samsung Internet web browser application from your Samsung Galaxy device. This will work on a phone from the brand new Galaxy S24 series but it will also work on their older flagship devices as well. And the same setup and command will work for their mid-range and low-end Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets as well. It will only require that you have the One UI firmware installed as that is Samsung's OEM skin. And as always, if you came across any issue when trying to complete this tutorial, then please do not hesitate to comment down below. I 
cannot promise that I'll be able to reply to every single one, as I just cannot keep up with the number of comments made on the channel, but I will definitely try to reply to everyone that I'm able to.